Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol L-O-N-E. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. I'm not sure what I mean by 30-minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Quite the eventful day on this one, not only from the price action standpoint, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one moving forward. So let's map out some levels of support, and then we can talk levels of resistance. Now, today... Uh, a, a great day from a trading standpoint, assuming you were looking to you know, buy and sell relatively quickly, but just from an overall chart standpoint, I don't know, a bizarre looking day, a, a day that doesn't really create that much confidence going forward, but you still gotta give some things the benefit of the doubt. And you know, it did make a nice move. Yeah, it pulled back. Yeah, volume's kind of disappearing. But the level that I'm very curious about moving forward is down here at 23 and a half cents. Why is 23 and a half, in my opinion, at least so revealing? And I'm not saying this is what's gonna uh, occur, but just why this level is a helpful is if the price comes down here to 23 and a half, behaves like that, and then continues on down, what would that be doing to the price? That would all of a sudden be putting the price right back inside of these lows where the price just was. And I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that spike upwards and then go right back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true power, genuine strength or anything like that. Again, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but that's why that level is very revealing. It's, it's gonna tell us and it's gonna you know, show whether or not the, the, the price and that big spike that happened today actually has any true power behind it or if it was just some sort of temporary, you know, dead cat bounce or anything like that. So definitely keep a close eye on that as that'll be a very revealing level. But like I said, assuming maybe the price does stay above 23 and a half cents and then starts to work its way back upwards, the key resistance to watch closely is gonna be that purple line there, which on my chart denotes the well-known 50 period moving average. And you can see right there is the most recent example of it being rejected. So keep a close eye on that. That's currently valued right up around the 27 cent mark. But yeah, right now, charts looking pretty shaky, but we'll see how it closes out the week on Friday. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.